let the church see, man. Come on and put your hands together. Come on, put your hands together wherever you are. And amen. Let the church say amen. We, we thank God, amen, for, for being here and certainly for all the blessings that we have bestowed upon us. We give God glory, we give God honor, and we give God praise on today because this is the day that the Lord has made and we should rejoice and be glad in it. Saints of old said, this is another day's journey, and, and I'm glad about it. And I'm wondering right now, do I have any glad folk tuned in, amen, watching this, this celebration of today as we come, amen, into the house of the Lord one more time, amen, if you're sitting on the couch, if you're sitting beside the bed, amen, just lift your hands right now and just tell the Lord thank you. Come on and tell him thank you right now. Tell him thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you right now. We come before your presence in, in the name of Jesus, God. You said in unto your gates with thanksgiving and into your courts with praise. Be thankful unto you and bless your name. For the Lord is good. God, we know that you are good. And we thank you. We thank you for watching over us last night as we slept and slumber. And then right early this morning, God, you touched us with a divine finger of love. God, we thank you right now. We thank you for meeting us here, God, in this place. We know that you're here because you said when two or three are gathered together in your name, God, you said that you would be in the midst. And, oh, God, we just thank you right now. Let your Holy Spirit fall afresh on us right now in the name of Jesus. Anoint these lips of the clay, God, as I get ready to, to preach a word on today. Send your Holy Ghost, God. Send your power. Send strength right now. In the name of Jesus, God, I cannot do it without you. Hide me behind the cross today. God, use me as your instrument. Let me be a tool in your hand. Oh, God, I need you right now. Somebody need to hear from heaven, God. And, and, and you let them know, God, God, right now, in the name of Jesus, that you, you are looking for some disciples, God. Oh, God, touch our hearts today. Touch our minds today. God, energize us, God, that we can go to work for you, God. In the name of Jesus, we know, God, you're looking for disciples, and we want to be your disciples today. Oh, God, have mercy on us. In the name of Jesus, God, I ask that you will supply every need. Meet us at the point of our needs, because your word said that you will supply according to your riches and glory. And God, we know, God, that you can do exceeding and abundantly above all that we can even ask or think according to the power that working in us. Oh God, we need you. We are living in a dying world right now, God. We are living in perilous times, but we know that you are God and you're still in control of every circumstance, every situation, God. Heal broken hearts right now. Give comfort to those who are bereaved right now in the name of Jesus. Oh God, have your way in this place. Have your way in this place. And then forgive us of our sins, God. In the name of Jesus, we don't want them to get in the way of our prayer. God, because we need you like we never needed you before. It is in Jesus' name, in that wonderful, matchless, marvelous, majestic name of Jesus, we do ask it all. And I just said, let the church say amen. Come on, let the church say amen. Come on, give, give God some glory. Give God some praise right, right now, God. Give Him some praise right now. Amen, amen, amen. Just lift your hands and just give Him praise right now. Thank Him right now. Who oh, bless His name right now. He said, in and to the gates with thanksgiving and to His court with praise. Who oh, bless His name. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. St. Luke, amen, Luke chapter, Luke chapter.
chapter 14, amen, Luke chapter, Luke chapter 14, amen, Luke 14, amen, and uh, we're going to begin our reading, amen, with uh, verse 26, Luke chapter, Luke chapter 15, uh, 14, Luke chapter 14, amen, verses 26. father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters yea and his own life also he cannot be my disciple let me read that one more time Jesus said if any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters yea and his own life also he cannot be my disciple amen amen let the church say amen but brothers and sisters amen when we consider the condition of this crazy and chaotic world, it just seems that there should be something that we could make a man uh, life more enjoyable and more livable. We can't count on money because it is the love of money, amen, that is the root of all evil. Those who have keep what they have so that those who have not continue to have not. We can't count on politics because the policies of the politicians often leave us disenfranchised. Yeah, 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 yeah. We can't truly count on government agencies because we don't always meet their requirements. We cannot count on intelligence because we have intelligent people now. And the world is still on a collision course with disaster and destructions. Yes, my brothers and sisters, this world, amen, is in turmoil, amen, and in dire need of some assistance. What will it take, amen, to make life on this planet more tolerable? Good question, good question, and I'm glad, I'm glad you asked. It's going to take disciples of Jesus. Yes, disciples, those doers of the word and not hearers only. Disciples who will lend a helping hand to those in need. Disciples, not those folks in the pews who are bystanders, but those who are actively involved in carrying out the mandate of God. Disciples, those who are pursuing the will of God. My brothers and sisters, Jesus is looking for some disciples. The text says, the text, the text says Jesus had been healing and teaching parables to the masses concerning, amen, the kingdom of heaven and its significance. His, his, his thesis now concerned the matter of discipleship and his own preeminence in a person's life. He informs the crowd, amen, that uh, he had been, uh, that had been following him, amen, that if a person wanted to come to him, he must be willing to give up some things. Y'all talk with me. You see, my brothers and sisters, the crowd was not following him because, amen, of who he was, but for what, amen, he could give them. Yeah, yeah, here is the author, the giver of eternal life, but they, they, they preferred something, amen, they could put their hands on. Y'all, 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 y'all talk with me. Isn't that? 
the way it seems today, men don't uh, want uh, eternal blessings, but those things that shall pass away. Matthew chapter, amen, 24 and 35 says, heaven and, and earth shall pass away, mm -hmm. but my, my word shall not pass away. If you uh, have the word of God, amen, I come to tell you today that you have everything that you need. Jesus, Jesus here lets them know that if you want to be his disciple, strong requirements must be met. As I stated earlier, to be a true disciple of Jesus, amen, requires the giving up of certain things and placing him, amen, as head of our lives. It, 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 yeah, I've discovered, amen, my brothers and sisters, that uh, the reason some Christians don't have the peace of Jesus is that, amen, they have not placed him as head of their lives. Yeah, 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 yeah. He may be the savior of their lives, but not the Lord of their lives. And consequently, they are powerless and joyless. Y'all talk with me. I said joyless. Every child of God ought to have some joy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've heard it before where it says that this joy that I have, the world didn't give it to me, and the world show can't take it away. Oh, I wish I had some help in here. When Jesus stated that if a person does not hate his father, mother, brother, sister, or even his own life, that they cannot be his disciples. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is implying, amen, that if we put others before him, amen, we will not be effective for him. Y'all talk with me. If we love our lives more than we love him, we will do all we can for ourselves and very little for him. Y'all talk with me. Jesus says in Luke 9 and 24, for whosoever will save his life shall lose it. But whosoever will lose his life for my sake, amen, the same shall be saved. Now, I, I wish I had some help in here. So, so, so then if it becomes a matter, amen, of somebody saying priority, somebody say priority. Yeah, 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 it's a matter of priority. You got to have him first. Somebody, somebody said first. Yeah, yeah, he has to be first. He said, amen, uh, in, in Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, he said, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Y'all talk with me. And all these things shall be added unto you. Furthermore, furthermore, anyone not willing to bear his cross is not where they are following Jesus. Bearing, bearing, my brothers and sisters, one's cross entails the willingness to suffer for the sake, yeah, of, of the kingdom. Yeah, 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 yeah. We must be willing and ready to endure persecution. Willing and ready to endure humiliation, criticism, and even execution. I wish I had some help in here. Many of his disciples got executed, amen, for working for Jesus. One writer has stated very clearly that when Jesus bid a man to follow him, he often bid him to come and die. And so, my brothers and sisters, we must become dead, amen, to this world and alive for the things of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Yet yeah, bearing one's cross also means sometimes putting the needs of others before our own. Because that's what he did for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He put our needs before his own. Let me give you a uh, the characteristics of, of true disciples. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The church consists of three groups of people. The unsaved, the Christian, and the disciple. The unsaved group comes to church. They leave 
and are still held hostage by their sin. The Christian group can be considered as the group, amen, that is saved but uncommitted to the work of the church and the work of the kingdom. Let me tell you, my brothers and sisters, there is much work uh, to be done. Jesus said in Matthew 9, 37, 38, he said, The harvest truly is piteous, but the laborers are few. He said, Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest that he will send forth laborers into the harvest. God needs some folk who are willing to go tell a dying world about his son, Jesus Christ. Oh, y'all come on and talk to me. That last group, amen, the disciple group, is concerned about the work of the local body and the kingdom of God. One question, amen, that we ought to ask ourselves today, am I a disciple of the Lord, amen, or am I a disappointment yeah, yeah, it is the disciple of Christ who reaps the full bounty, amen, of blessings of, of God's, of Christ's riches. Riches. Do I have any help in here? And I declare that, amen, if there were more disciples of Christ, y'all come on and talk to me. I'm on my way out of here now. If we had more disciples of Christ, those who we're willing to go out and tell a dying world that Jesus not only lives, but, but he still saves. The crime would decrease. We had more disciples. Gossiping would, would decline. If we had more disciples, yes, yeah, some hungry folk would not be hungry. If we had some more disciples, naked folk would be Clothed. If we had some more disciples, love would increase. Forgiveness would be prevalent. Ain't God all right? If we had some more disciples, yeah, this world that we live in would be a better place to live in. I wish we had some help in here. Yeah, if we had some more disciples, amen, everything would, would be better. Yeah, if we would just do what Jesus told us to do in Matthew chapter 28, 19, and 20. He said, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. He said, Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always even until the end of the world. Do I have any help in here? I just stop by to tell somebody that God is still with us. But he needs us, those who are disciples of Christ, to tell somebody about Jesus. Yet yeah, God is with us. Amen. We need to go and tell somebody about Jesus. How? He hung blood and died out on a hill called Calvary. Ain't God? Yeah. All right. He hung there. They said, uh, uh, one Friday evening, he died. And I'm glad that he didn't stay dead. No, no, no. He, he, he got up uh, in three days. They said he stayed there Friday night, all day and all night Saturday, but early, somebody said early, Sunday morning he got up from the grave with all power, all power in his hands. Oh yeah, he got up and Jesus, my brothers and sisters, is looking for, amen, some, some disciples. Are you a disciple? I wish I had some help in here. Are you? Are you a disciple for him? He is willing and, and able, 
amen, to help us, amen, to tell, amen, this dying world that, that he lives, that he, that he saves, that he delivers. Oh yeah, 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 he's still, he's still on the throne and he's still, amen, in control. May not look like it, but I stopped by to tell you this morning that he is. And if we would just hold on to God's unchanging hands, I guarantee you that everything, amen, will be, will be all right. If there's one tuned in this morning, if there's one tuned in this morning that don't know Christ in the pardon of your sin, it's easy to get to know him. All you got to do is just believe, amen, that he is the Christ, son of the living God. Yeah, confess that, uh-huh, and that God, that he died and God raised him from the dead. Amen, you shall be, you shall be saved. It's just as simple as calling on the name because in Romans 10, amen, and 13, I believe, it said, whosoever call upon the name of Jesus shall be saved. I would rather have him and not meet him mm -hmm. and to meet him and not have him. Today, today is your day. Today is your day. And I come to tell you that God is looking for somebody to tell somebody, amen, about his son, Jesus Christ. God bless you on today. Don't forget, don't forget to to send your tithes, amen, and you know how, how to do that, amen, you will see it stroll across the screen, amen, very shortly here, amen, uh, God is looking for uh, some disciples, the harvest is still plenteous, but the laborers are few, God bless you, and God keep you, until we meet again.